We about to react to Lil Leak, this song called Trendsetter. Let's check it out. Hey man, this bitch so bad, my nigga. Hold on, y'all. Y'all can't see me. My fault. Yeah, now we back. Nigga, don't talk terrain, he don't think right. Boy, I've been skinny my whole fucking life like I don't eat right. Trendsetter, I can't really bring back the lead. Hey. He said, I've been skinny my whole fucking life like I ain't eat right. I, I envy motherfuckers that be skinny they whole life, bro. Because, like, how y'all stay so skinny? Y'all metabolism just move that fast? Like, I eat one fucking hamburger, I gain five pounds, bro. I don't get it. Like, shit don't be making no sense. I eat a bag of chips, I gain three pounds. Like, bro, what the fuck? I don't be knowing how niggas be staying skinny. For real. I also feel like it's genetics too because it's like if your family got a lot of skinny people nine times out of ten you gonna be skinny skinny my whole fucking life like I don't eat right trendsetter I can't really bring back the Levi's who do you think I am boy you would never see the leak fight hard body you would never ever see the leak cry it's gonna be a purge in Flint Michigan if leak died we was 20 I don't know what the fuck just happened my shit just froze up but he said, I could bring back Levi's. I ain't seen the nigga wear Levi's since like 2011. So if he brought them back, that'd be interesting because last time, the last person I heard talk about Levi's was Boosie. And that was before Boosie got locked up. I think he got locked up in like 08, 09. But like he was still dropping music while he was locked up, still rapping about Levi's. So. I ain't seen a pair of Levi's since I was at least, I'm in my 30s. I ain't seen a pair of Levi's since high school, at least. You would never ever see Lil Leak cry. It's going to be a purge in Flint, Michigan if Leak died. We was 20 deep inside the trap like a beehive. I hold the bitch and she ain't do shit, but take a deep sigh. You going to miss this Bro, this beat is ridiculous. I need to know who made this. I need to personally tell him. This beat fire, bro. Out the trap like a beehive. I hold the bitch and she ain't do shit, but take a deep sigh. You gon' miss this shit twice if you blink twice. She asked me where I've been three times. I told her three lies. Three deep going to the gas. <laughs> she asked me where I where I've been three times. I told her three lies. Where did you go? The movies. Where did you go? To church. Where did you go? To school. Three fucking lies. He was probably at another girl house. <laughs> For real. And I don't know him, so I'm just, you know, I'm just saying, like, usually when a nigga lied to a girl, it's because he was with some hoes. We taking three pipes, spin your block, back to back to back, bitch, that's three nights. Make sure Chino got his glasses, he can't fucking see right. SD trying to be for me, boy, your last is three, five. Niggas shot at me in 2020 and they think they safe now. I'm making niggas leave Michigan, go catch the Greyhound. Boy, I fuck your baby mama every other day now. And I can really have your blood sister. Hey, is they wearing orange or is that the camera? Because, like, the swing, I mean, not the swing, but the, the playground, the slide and all that, it's the same color as Little League shorts. But I can't tell. If the camera did that, like with the filter and the editing, or if the shit really orange. Because that's crazy that he got on orange, and the playground he at is orange, too. I wanted to do that on purpose. The Greyhound, boy, I fuck your baby mama every other day now, and I can really have your blood sister with her face down. Make her suck dick on camera, then give me a face towel. Sleeping in that county jail bed, then broke my face off. Somebody shit is getting beat down, we bought the drink out. This little bitch just got beat down, now I need space. Boy, you know you gonna hit the ground, you hear that Drake sound, we six. Bro, this beat is so crazy. And his flow choice on this beat fits perfect. Like, this beat almost sound like it was made for him. Let's just creep up and then let's space out. Boy, we known for this shit for 100 in a house. His mama crying because it's bullet holes inside her couch. I gotta charge this fucking tether before I step out. Go get some fucking blood to day, LeBron, make me smile. I would hate to be on tether, bro. I ain't never been in trouble with the law. So I don't know what it feel like to be on Tether, but it seemed like it'd be stressful. I remember I was watching Boosie on Vlad uh, TV 
and his ankle monitor kept going off. I think it went off like three times in the interview. Like that annoyed the fuck out of me. I don't like loud noises. I don't like beeps. I don't like alarms. I don't like none of that shit, bro. Bro, I thought he was finna stop rapping and let the beat play. I was finna say, this nigga really finna let the beat play for another minute and 30 something seconds? I was finna get so mad. I hate when good rappers leave so much to the beat, like, unsaid. Just no words or no rapping, just beat fading out. Black jeans, black boots, and it's dark, so it's a black street. If it's a black in my heart inside the air, then I'm with black keys. My ops get stumped on inside the county, nigga, ask. Bleak, you better not ask. God, I'm finna forget this, nigga, ask me. I don't got round to him. Me tonight, I'm finna ask sleep. We finish. That sound like an album title. Don't ask God for forgiveness. Ask me. That sound like something Rick Ross would say. <laughs> like, y'all remember that Rick Ross album, God Forgives? I don't. It sound like a part two. Bro, he and his daddy Jeep. Look at me, I'm in a wheelchair. It's that fatty beat. My name hold weight in the D like I'm fat meats. Bitch, you suck dick like you grown. What do your daddy do? I be trolling, yeah, they mad at me. When nigga is you beefing or you not, you halfway in between. How the fuck is you even alive halfway in the beef? Out the window, trying to pop a nigga halfway up the street. Every time I see a, a video by these niggas, they dances be hilarious. Like, they dances be having me crying laughing for real. Like, if they cut this part of the video and put it on TikTok, they get views, bro. Hella views. He doing the Macarena, bro. You see what I'm saying? Like, they not taking this, 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 this video serious. They having fun with this shit. I like when people... Have fun with their career, bro. Life too short to be motherfucking crying about shit, man. Motherfucking mad and angry and, and, and taking shit so serious. But anyway, shout out to Lil Leak, real talented dude. You know what I'm saying? I don't know him, but I listen to his music. He's talented, man. He can rap. He got, he got like that star quality about him, you know? So. I hope he don't quit this rap shit. I hope he keep going until he make it. 